I make no secret of the fact that I'm one of the disenfranchised. I've lost all faith in our system of government, how it's run and who runs it. And if you think the same as me, subscribe to the channel. I've been giving this a lot of thought over the last 12, 24 hours or so. What really alarmed me is the fact that, yes, we've had 13, 14 years of the Conservatives, which all started all that time ago with the coalition with the Liberal Democrats. And we've seen a progression over the last, well, decade and a half of something which has regressed into a complete mess. So many, so many people are fed up with it. So many, so many people want change. And what did they go and do? Voted Labour in these two by-elections. That isn't change. That's just moving the coin to the other side of the same table. We're going to get stuck with more of the same. In fact, I predict that we're going to get a hell of a lot worse if you look at the differences between the left and the right in this country. It's uh, an absolute mess. Now, to try and understand and have an impact on what pissed off voters, what effect they have on proceedings, I want to go through a couple of things with you. Now, I actually saw this information presented on another platform. And I, I want to give you Andy's YouTube version of it. Now, where we start, this is the election results for Wellingborough. Parliamentary by-election, Thursday, the 15th of February, 2024. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, Wellingborough results, and you can see there, 46% went to Jen Kitchen of the Labour Party. So they're obviously returned as the elected MP for Wellingborough. Helen Harrison, 25%. Ben Habib, we know, came in third with 13%. Now, all of these figures imply to you, and it doesn't say anywhere else, that that's 46% of the electorate. The electorate. So that means half of Wellingborough, nearly half, voted for Labour. It's not the electorate. Not the electorate at all. If they've told you that, they're being very disingenuous. Or if you believe that, you need to look further. Now, there's a lot more information here. Yeah, If you have a look down the bottom. The electorate, so this is the population of Wellingborough, 79,376. Total votes, so the total count was 30,000. 145 votes. So if you do the maths, a little over 60% of the population of Wellingborough didn't vote. They didn't show up. Why? Because they're completely disenfranchised with a system that has failed them and no longer works. And it's a thing I've heard again and again and again over the years. What is the point? What is the point? Now, one very important thing here uh, to note is the bottom of this screen. Rejected ballot papers. They, you know, they have to account for all of this. Now, total rejected ballot papers, 75. Voting for more than one candidate, 14. Void for uncertainty. I'm not sure what the person or what the per uh, per voting intention was. 61. So 61, 14, 75 rejected ballot papers. Now, let me just show you this figure again, just so the, for the impact of it here. 30,145 votes out of a population of 79,376. So if you look at 79,376, that figure is nowhere near 46% of that electorate. The maps just don't work. So over 60% of the population of Wellingborough are pissed off and didn't turn out to vote. The only way this is going to change is if disenfranchised voters get out and get to the ballot box and vote. 
And if I don't want to vote for one of the parties, it's very simple. I do not consent. Now, there are many test cases years back. There's many examples of the fact. It's written down in parliamentary papers. You can go and look it up yourself. This has legal standing. You can hear in my voice how passionate I am about this. Let me show you something else before we finish. I pulled this off of a, another podcast, and I know the guy won't mind because he actually featured some of my footage on his. Ignore the first three lines. The true majority were abstainers, 62%, but didn't use their ballot. In other words, sod it, why should I bother? So look at the figures again. So out of an electorate of 79,376, Labour took 13,844, 17% of the population of Wellingborough, not 40 odd, 17. So the true figure, Labour won with 17% of the electorate. That's not the popular vote. The majority of the population has stopped voting, abstained, and that's tacit agreement with the uni party. The problem is that 62% will not vote for the uni party. According to the system, only the uni party can win. The law says every vote is counted, and the result proves that. We have the task of trying to show people, I do not consent, is counted. Now, for those that disagree with that, I roll back to the coalition. David Cameron, Nick Clegg, all, of, all those years back, 14 years ago, it was a hung parliament. I wonder if you go through the records and work out how many people didn't turn out to vote as a percentage of those that did. What if they came out and said, I do not consent or in enough numbers voted for something else? Food for thought, isn't it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to see another one of my political rants, I suppose you could call them, have a look at that one there. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.